Also, this thing resists break, which really sucks. I wish I could be immune to knockback. There's probably some kind of an item I could get that would make me immune to knockback, but I'm going to complain about it anyways because I don't have that item. Or at least I don't know I have it, and I don't want to take the time to get it. I'd rather knockback just didn't exist. Final disaster, go. Be gone, you stupid giant robot freak. I did not mash B hard enough, apparently. Tori, you want to, like, keep the aggro? Maybe do your job for once in your life? What do we combo off of lightning? I don't even remember. Fire and then ice. Yeah. So I could do the fire or the ice. Either or is fine. Because Tora also has fire and ice. I would rather I do the ice, though. I'd also rather not take as much damage as I just did. Tori, you want to, like, keep the aggro ever in your life, please? Also, why can you... You were able to do Flame Bolt a second ago. Now you can't. Why? Fine, I'll do Flame Bolt. Whatever. You can do Ultimate Aurora. You better, at least. There you go. Good damage. And I'm dead. Awesome. Yep. Yep, thanks. The stupid bikes! Does he summon them? I'm the actually livid. Why? This enemy is already difficult enough. It doesn't need to have seven other enemies alongside of it. Yeah, final blow, please. Very nice. Get a roared. That didn't do much damage at all, actually. Holy cow. Alright, let's get the fire combos going. That's next on the list, I guess. I would like to use Steam Bomb off of this, ideally. And then I'd like it if I could get Pyra's Burning Sword for the final hit. Oh, of course it gets broken, finally, and I get toppled right as soon as it's, uh, I after I use Anchor Shot, so I don't have a chance to Anchor Shot you. That's, that's, on, that's awesome. I love it. I'm going to wait as long as I can before using uh, Steam Bomb here. Can I stop missing, please? Please hop up. Oh, thank you. Launch it. Launch it, Tori. Yes! Rock. Yeah, we have done it. Bam! Steam Bomb right now. I need to get back to Pyro immediately. Steam Bomb? Why are you not Steam Bombing? I hit it twice already. Use the Steam Bomb, you idiots. She's not doing the Steam Bomb. Use Steam Bomb. Finally. What the heck was the deal there? All right, I want Pyra's Burning Sword for this instead of Diamond Mist. I definitely don't want Diamond Mist. He's already got one of those orbs. Here we go. And then I'm chain attacking this fool. Because he needs to be dead. Unless this brings him, like, insanely close to dead. It's really close, but I'm so tired of fighting this guy that I'm chain attacking to make sure he's dead. Okay. Ice Ice breaks win. Uh, I forgot that I had to spam B for some reason. There we go. As long as we for sure break that wind orb, I think we're set. Dromark, don't you dare fall off the edge. That happened to Poppy once and it screwed me over. Poppy third form, go. Very nice. This thing is so bulky, I hate it. What do I need here? Wind, wind, and then Adonine wind, and then we're guaranteed to break the ice orb. It's as good as dead. Adonine kills it here. And also breaks the orb. Be gone. Too easy. This thing better give me some good elemental burst shenanigans. I should try and use every version of Poppy. I already used her third form, so now we do the second and then the first to last. Another one! Another! Get him, Perun. Oh, no, wait, no. I should have used Pyra. I thought that I used Pyra first, but I used Perun first. Whatever. Pyra missed out, unfortunately. Uh, here we can use Vess. Vess hasn't gone yet. Get him, Vess. Blow him away. Very nice. And Poppy first form. Don't I get one more go? I think I do. No, it's dead. Holy cow, thank goodness. We still have to beat these stupid bikes. But whatever. This one's already almost dead. End it, please. I am so tired of these things. You have no idea. Use my level 1 with Karun because it is the best at charging up the party gauge as far as I'm aware. 
It always does a really good job, at least. Freeze him. Did the other one die already? I think he did. Thank goodness. That was a nightmare. That stupid giant mech is horrible. If I never see it again for as long as I live, it'll be too soon. Please just don't even aggro. Why even bother, though? Those two stupid bikes are still right there. That stupid giant mech. For some reason, the developers thought, you know what, this giant mech that's like four levels ahead of all the other enemies in the area, it's not good enough. Let's also have it spawn two, like, level 57 bikes. You know, just to make it fair. Stupid developers. Who do they think they are, developing games that I play and enjoy? For the most part. There's another elite up here that I really would rather not even ever see. Also, we're apparently in the data processing room. This is where we process the data, apparently. Where did that elite go? I don't even want to fight the elite. I just want to be aware of where it's located. I don't know what I'm supposed to... I need to go up by another, like, 400 meters. Feet, whatever. Probably feet, since the number moves so easily. Meters would be an insane distance. I think. I'm pretty sure. I'm American. We don't use meters. But I know they're long. Do we have to... No, you're the elite. No. No. What is this? What? It's the stupid little ferret thing. Go away. I don't want to fight you. Like, you actually cannot even pay me enough to fight this thing. I hate the little angel sovereign things. They suck. Oh, that hurt. That sucks for you, doesn't it? Where am I going? What the? Did you open up like a shield thing that I'm not in? You idiot. Do I have to fight this thing? It actually just will not screw off. And then it spawns these. I'm so sick of every enemy in this game being able to, or in this area rather, being able to spawn more enemies. Stop it. It's actually just more annoying than anything else. Oh my word, now it's doing the stupid thing where it just deflects all hits because that's, that's fun. Please die. Like, in my suffering. Burnout, go. I'll get the level 3 fire. Actually, I'll switch to Mithra and get the level 3 light. The nuclear blast is coming, you fool. Hopefully, eventually. If I can ever charge up any of my arts ever again. Topple. It is too easy. Launch this fool. Do it right now. You know you want to. Yeah, get launched. Is it worth it? I'm doing it. Smash. Oh, I killed it. Smash was absolutely worth it. All right, now get this thing out of here. Wind. Get it with the wind. Of course I'm toppled. All right, well, I'm just, like, going to do nothing here for a second. You know, take a sip of tea. Come here, you stupid Radcliffe. Get out of here. Die, I say. Die. Cyclone should end you. Oh, is it self-destructing? Who cares? I killed it anyways. Why did the music change? That was really weird. The music changed suddenly as if something important had happened, but it was nothing had. That was weird. Oh, please screw off. Why is there a level 64 elite just moving through here? Go away. What's that noise? Whatever. Where am I trying to go? Like, over here somewhere? I don't know where I'm trying to get to. This little panel? Oh, there's like a hidden pathway here or something. Please enter password. Oh, well, you're... I can't help but notice that you're not giving me an option to enter any passwords. You're just constantly saying, please enter password. That's, uh, that's not how passwords work, buddy. Am I supposed to be in this room? This is where the sky bread, uh, sky bridge, sky bridge went. What? Where am I going? 
Do I have to kill this thing? You know what? Fight me. Charge! Rex, that is the go. lamest thing I've ever heard. Charge! Yeah. Why can I... <laughs> Why when I enter combat does my movement speed get like cut in thirds? Like, what the heck is up with that? Oh, there's another one up there. I swear if that thing joins in this fight, I'm, like, actually ending today's session. I cannot be bothered to be fighting these things over and over and over again. I'm going to charge up my arts again, and then I'm going to use my level one, and we're going to hopefully get the combos rolling here. All right, here we go, here we go. Let's see what we can do. Well done, well done. No oh my goodness. I absolutely despise the spamming of, uh, whatever. Oh, Shackle Blade. Awesome. Cool. I guess I'm just actually not going to do any combos ever. Joy. This thing's taking damage fairly quickly, at least. How much time do I have left? Like, five minutes. By the time we either lose to the thing or beat it, that'll be the end of today's session. Definitely. Good damage, good damage. Hopefully now we can actually get some combos off. Oh, yes. Topple, thank you. Please, Tora, do the thing. Tora, do it. Steam bomb it. Oh, yeah, Tora's not going to do it because Tora's a failure. What a shock. Go ahead and steam explosion immediately. The sooner we can get moving to more combos, the better. Wrecked. Very good damage. Except this thing appears to, like, have taken none of the damage from it. Go ahead and ice. What do we got here? What do we do off of ice? We go water, wind. Yeah. Or ice, earth, but I'm not going to be able to pull that off. Can you stop constantly, like, blocking everything? I'd appreciate it. It doesn't look like we're going to get cold snap. Yeah, got cold snap in the last second. Perfect. Brock, get in here. The sooner we do this, the better. We're all actually like, oh my goodness, more enemies. Great. Awesome. Just what I love. I love it. I love it. I'm having a good fight and doing pretty well on the enemy slowly. And then the enemy starts spamming like eight other enemies. It's great. Honestly, like best game, uh, words, best game mechanic options of all time. Can I like, oh, this stupid thing draws aggro. That's right. Awesome. Cool. Love it even more. Prune, get in there. Someone did call for Brew. Yes. I'm glad that you realized that. Give us the thing. Give us the thing. Oh, no, wait. No, I'm the one who topples. Tyra. Topple. Give us the thing, Tora. Yes. No, I can't switch to Brock in time. Wait, I might. I just might. I just might. He's done it. Get smash on, you nerd. Easy damage. Steam bomb. Kill this thing, please. I need it gone. Like, it actually needs to be dead. It's still alive. I can't help but notice. Please die. Thank you. Okay, get this thing out of here next. I'm going to use my level 3 win just for damage, honestly. Oh, no. Blades are shackled, of course. Except for Poppy for some reason. Here we go. Be gone, you stupid Radcliffe sovereign thing. Get out of here. It's going to self-destruct. I prefer to kill you before you can do that. Yes. Okay. Lucy Pepito? Why is this thing... Why? Like, why? Honestly, that's all I want to know is why do so many other enemies need to be spammed in a fight with a freaking level 64 elite? A level 64 elite is enough of a challenge on its own. You don't need to add all this extra crap. Please just die. Like, in my supper. Get toppled. Very good. You want to, like, uh, yep, launch it. I can't switch to rock, though, unfortunately. But it's it's basically dead anyway, so it doesn't really matter. We've somehow managed to keep, like, really good HP. Now we're back to this thing. Don't virus my blades. How dare you. Uh, what can Volt combo in? What do you have? You have fire and wind on you so far. Okay. So we got to, like, work off of that. I can't... I don't want to do Pandemic. I don't want to put another... Okay, yeah, water is worthless. Because we can't get dark and we can't... Actually, no, I could change into a... Uh, Numa or whatever her name is. Dude, there's like a ton of money and stuff over there that's all going to fade away before I can get to it. I didn't realize it was there. Just grab as much of it as I can. I actually got all of it. Sick. Uh, we can do... Hold up, hold up. We can do an earth combo here if I do double ice. I do double ice, then Tora gets the earth. 
Here we go, here we go. I have to do the freeze so that Tor can do the permafrost, I think is what it is. Very good. Level two, go. I want to get four orbs on this thing and then chain attack it probably. This is going to be our third orb if Tora actually pulls it off. The permafrost crash, do it. Get him, Poppy. Get him. Too easy. Permafrost. So what orb don't you have on you? You got earth, wind, and fire. You don't have an ice. What ends in it? Does Volt end in ice? What does Volt end in? I don't remember. Electric, electric water isn't going to work. Uh, no, electric, fire, ice. Yeah, I can do the ice right here. If I can ever, like, use an attack that uh, doesn't immediately get deflected, then it'll eventually... Okay, yeah, sure. We'll just have it where every single time I hit the enemy, I get deflected so that I can't possibly ever combo anything. Really good game design. I don't think I'm going to charge in time. Unless we can get a break on him and let me start, like, uh, knocking him down and stuff. Please stop. I'm so tired of every time I'm trying to get to the right hit to combo stuff that it immediately just, like, deflects the blast. Oh, let's do Perun's level board. Oh, no, we're shackle bladed. Awesome. Awesome. I love it. Please wear off in time. Please, 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 please. I'm just spamming A. Please, please, please. Oh, thank you. Holy cow, the first good thing to happen today. Yes, she'll have the final word. Definitely. Okay, Ultimate Aurora. There we go. Very nice. Switch to Pyra and do this. Please do the thing, Tora. Please, please launch, Tora. He's not going to do it. Rip. I really was hoping for the thing there. I think I either get one more orb or I chain attack now. We're all in good health, so I don't really... You, How do you resist Hop? though? How does that make any sense? I could get a light orb on him. If I really wanted to try for this. He has enough orbs that I can double break, I think. With ease. So, he should be fine. I'm going to try to... Oh, that's right, Lightning Bolt. Nah, just go to fire, so who cares. Stop! Stop! I'm... Stop! I'm actually, like, mad at the constant, like, oh, hey, you hit the enemy, but it actually doesn't hit the enemy because you get knocked back immediately. It actually makes me really mad the more and more it happens. Holy cow. There are too many things in this game that I dislike. Oh, Ruinous Weather. That works just as well. Do that, then. We can double fire that with Poppy and Pyra. I need to switch to Pyra before I chain attack. I don't need Mithra's in the chain attack. I need more fire instead of any light. So switch back to Pyra. Yep, cool. All right, kill this thing, please. And then I can end today's session. Uh, just focus on breaking the water for the first words, so we'll double fire. Very good. Uh, you can honestly just vest, I guess, to get to work on the earth orb. I think this hits Earth, doesn't it? Yes, yes it does. And then we Poppy again to break the Water Orb, so we're guaranteed another go. And then we double Ice to guaranteed break the Wind Orb. And we'll use Vess again to guaranteed break the Earth Orb. Yes, so Ice. We can double Wind, actually, with Rock and Adenine to guaranteed break the Ice Orb. So I'll use Dromark here to go ahead and hit the Fire Orb to get it really low. And I have to use Ice Poppy here to get a continuation. There we go. Yeah, we got this. And I think breaking five orbs does the weird... Uh, I'll rock here. It does the weird, like, elemental burst of death thing. I don't really know how that works. Add a nine to break the wind orb. And then it doesn't matter who I use with Tora, it'll break one orb guaranteed because the other two are both at two breaks. So just use Poppy level one because we haven't used her yet. There we go. And then we're going to break the fifth one right here with Perun. Get him. Too easy. We did it. We filled up the gold bar. So, like, do we do the ultimate death destruction thing? Yep, full burst. Here it is. Whatever this means. Okay, we're already in overkill. Yep, doing my level four here. Very nice. Get him, Perun. Blow him away. 
Goodbye, sucker. Did I do that? Good yeah, did I do that? Okay, 8,800 experience. Pretty nice. Okay, we killed that thing. Whatever. As I kind of expected, it expected... I can't say words. Expected. It appears to have done nothing. I have no idea what I'm... Am I supposed to be, like, looking at all of the different walls and, like, maybe one specific wall is like, Oh, look! There's a password you can inspect on this one. That seems plausible, actually. There's a collection thing there, but I just saw this. Key code terminal. You. You were what I was looking for. Yep, got the key code. Alright, cool. That's what I needed. I didn't even need to fight the thing, but whatever. We did anyways. It wasn't too bad. So, I'm gonna go ahead and save and wrap up here. Because we are done for today. We're still in the world tree. This is taking a lot longer than I thought it would to get through. But, hopefully when we come back next time, we will finish going through the world tree here. And maybe finish up chapter 8. Because we still have two more full chapters after this. I think I might be at the point where... I think what I want to do is I kind of want to mainline the main story for a bit. And finish most of it. Like, finish chapter 8 definitely before I do anything else. And then just do the unique side quests that I care about, which would mean, like, the ones that I care about would be all the unique blades that I like. So, Perunes, I want to finish. Uh, probably do Adenines. I'd kind of like to do Vesses, because I like Vess. Uh, I definitely want to do Cassandras. If the Gian has one, I want to do a Gian's. Uh, Sheba, I don't care about. I absolutely want to do Wolfricks, and I think that might actually be it. <laughs> so, not that many, actually. But anyways, I don't know. I'll worry about that later. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I will see you next time. And until then, farewell.